What is Don't Be That Agent? <laughs> so don't be, what is it? <laughs> so we have a support group that meets every Thursday. And right now we're doing it because of the COVIDs. We're doing it via, we're doing it via Zoom. And we have a section. We, we go over highs and lows of the week. We, we have a, an open question. But then we have, we have a section. It's kind of like David Letterman where we say, don't be that agent. And um, uh, we go over things that happen during the week our interactions with other agents. Um, sometimes we are that don't be that agent. You, mm-hmm. say, you know, you say, oh, look, I really messed up. Don't be that agent. So it's not, it's not an us versus them. We're not making fun of the carry. We make fun of carry agents a lot. But <laughs> and I'm sure they make fun of us, but um, it's not always us versus them. Sometimes we make mistakes and, and we share amongst the group and we tell everybody, but um, uh, let me. I, I just wanted to give you a couple examples of don't be that agent that happened this week, and maybe some people will get a chuckle out of it, maybe not. But so, uh, an agent called me this week, and he said he was a land agent. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> because he was a land agent, he doesn't do MLS. I'm like, really? You know? And I, so I looked him up, and he has one land listing. <laughs> And he's had one land sale in the last year. So he really is a land agent because he sold a land <laughs> and he has a land listing. But uh, the real reason he isn't on MLS is because he's not making enough money to pay $1,000 a year to be on MLS. So, you know, I mean, I don't think I don't think it was wise to call me and tell me I'm not I'm not on MLS because I'm a land agent. The majority of good land agents right now are on MLS. You need to MLS is. Is, is still relevant because it's a feed for everything. So we, and so then I had another agent call, call me and she told me, you know that uh, land contracts don't have due diligence. I'm like, really? You know, sold 75 pieces of land this year. You know, <laughs> they all had due diligence, but she went, she went with that convincing little, you know, land contracts don't get due diligence money. And I was like, uh, I, I didn't know that. Why, why don't you teach me about how to do a land contract with a everybody? This is this the hottest market in the history of America? You're if you want to buy a piece of land, you have to give. You can't do it for free. You have to give some money to put it down. So, um, uh, like just to give you a, for instance, the property that she called on had five offers on it, and it was. Two hundred thirty thousand dollars. We got fifteen thousand dollars in due diligence money. So, I would say that's, that's a big difference from no. And we know land contracts don't have due diligence. Um, this this was another. I mean, this all happened this week. Uh, we we had a house listed for four hundred forty thousand dollars. It went live Monday at ten in the morning. That's usually not when I like stuff to go live but the seller had some issues that's when she wanted to go live monday at 10 in the morning monday at seven o'clock at night agent calls me yeah it got an offer 360. (laughs) (laughs) it hasn't even been on the market 12 hours and you're offering eighty thousand dollars less and i was like even even if you think I'm not very smart. Even if you think, I don't know what I'm doing, that's still the seller's expectation, right? Like, if at 10 o'clock this morning, my seller was hoping for 440, (laughs) what makes you think it's 7 o'clock at night? All of a sudden, her mind has changed. How do you even respond to that? Well, I really, I really, I really did. Unfortunately, I, I, I want to always maintain a professional, but I was really taken aback by that. I said, it's been on the, I go, it, it hasn't even been on the market 12 hours. I couldn't even say it's only been 12 hours. See, I said it hasn't even been 12 hours. Because you mean 460? Right. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and you know, and we weren't in a, that property was uh, in a remote area. And, um, but it did sell a couple of days later and it sold for 440, you know, which we were kind of expecting, you know. <laughs> um, uh, so, with the shortage of inventory, we have a lot of Wake and Orange County agents calling about our listings. Um, this is the last one. Don't be that agent. I've, I've discussed this before. This, this, and she, she was a nice agent. Uh, she called 
on a Thursday at 4.30, 60 acre track. And, and um, she didn't get me on myself because I was talking to someone else. So she talked to my staff and she said, yes, I need Eric to walk this 60 acres with me tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, first of all, that's your job. Secondly, and, and look, at my staff is really, really supportive of me. They're like, you do understand that if Eric did that, that's all he would be doing all week long is walking land with other agents. Like, well, the, the, the best comeback that she had one time is she's like, you list houses, right? She's like, yes, I'm very good at listing houses. What would you do if an agent called you and said, I'm going to show your house. I want you to be there to help me show this house. You know, you, no one would ever do that in right. a residential situation, but with land, they think, oh, well, he has to, da, da, da. no, no. So uh, one of our favorite expressions, don't be that agent. That's funny. How long does it take to walk a 60 acre track to land? It takes about two to four hours, <laughs> you know? And no, and it, I mean, but Len, I promise you, I get, I get asked to walk the 125, the 60s, the 180s, the 300, you know, all week long. And, and they are shocked when I say no. They are so shocked that I had to put on a piece of paper, like I had to put in the documents of MLS, I am not going to walk this land with you. If that is your job, if you wish to get paid, you have to walk the land. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you should probably get an agent that does know what they're doing, or you can hire a surveyor to walk the land with you. But, you know, I mean, people say, well, you're the listing agent. You want to help out the seller, da da da, da. Yes, of course I want to help out the seller, but I don't possibly have that much time in, in a week. <laughs> so, 